Good afternoon, everybody, or, or morning, or midday, or, you know, whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. Right now it is 10.30 p.m. for me. I've actually been really busy this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Had a lot of family stuff going on. Had some stuff Friday night. Then I had um, a party with my in-laws Saturday night, and then I had a party with my parents tonight. So it's been, it's been a really, really long uh, weekend for me, but you know, that's all right. And no complaints there for sure, So I don't know if I should, you know, be getting too close to these blobs or not. So, you know what, let's, let's see, what's this? Cube God, I don't really want to, uh, you know, like mess with that right now either. Let's just, yeah, all right, we'll just head to the Godlands and putz around here for a little bit. So probably a little bit of a shorter episode just because it's a little bit late I'm a little bit tired from partying so long, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I don't really have a subject that I was going to talk about too much. However, I did want to do a quick update on the last Nilly's Realm video that we did, which was on Friday and had to do with YouTube's new advertiser-friendly community guidelines for their for their videos. Again, I want to stress that these are things that are not new. This is something that you agreed to when you first started your channel. They've been around for a while. It just seems like they've started actually enforcing them, but that's not really true. And it sounds like we've had a little bit more information now. People have been doing some digging, and what it sounds like is all of these videos that are now being flagged um, have actually been flagged for a while. The, the content creators just didn't know that they were not making any money on this content. And so what they've done is they've actually added a new notification system to tell you when your videos have been flagged for demonetization. And so all, it's, it's not that all of these videos are all unmonetized all at once or something, which is kind of what it, everyone was making it sound like, and which made it sound like a lot worse than it was. All that they've really done is just add a notification to let you know when your, your videos have been demonetized and kind of why-ish, although not specifically why, and give you a way in order to kind of counteract it or or get around it, you know, if you think that it's been an error. Because apparently all these videos that have been demonetized now have actually been demonetized for a while. And so, and people just didn't know it. And so, which is, I think, kind of worse in, in some some regards. So, let's grab that. You can always use a little bit of, of health potion, right? Let's see, let's zoom out. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going this way, why not? So... Again, it seems like, and I kind of correctly predicted this, if I might toot my own horn here for a second. I said, everyone's going to freak out for a few weeks or, or so. We'll figure that it, we'll find out that it's actually not as bad as everyone's making it out to be. It's, it's got a much simpler answer to it. And then everything will be fine in about a week. And it's been about a week and we found out what was actually going on and everything seems fine. YouTube's not over. There's a bunch of people who are like, oh, yeah, okay, party's over, guys. Pack it up. Go somewhere else, Twitch or something. But speaking of Twitch, I have started and I know I put out a video for this and I've been bugging you guys for a while. Um, but I've actually started ramping up my streaming on Beam. The URL is beam.pro slash Gamer. It's been a lot of fun. I've, I actually hit, and this is going to sound minuscule in comparison to a lot of channels, but for me, it's a huge accomplishment. I actually hit 10 uh, people watching at a time today. Uh, I've only been doing it for exactly a week. So I've, I've streamed, I believe, seven times now, once a day. Uh, at night, I've been doing it in the morning just because I've been so busy at night. I've been getting up early to stream, which I don't know, maybe that's what we'll do on the weekends, you know, like before the kids get up and wake up, maybe we'll do a quick stream in the mornings or something instead of at night, or maybe we'll do both. I'm not quite sure, but either way, huge turnout today. So I want to thank everybody who did stop by, played some Counter-Strike, had a lot of fun. I know a lot of people have been wanting me to play Realm. I'm sure that's coming, you know, I mean, I guess you could say this is a Realm-focused channel. 
or centric channel, if you will. Although, quite honestly, I never really wanted it to be that. I wanted it to be more of a variety channel. It's just like, I seem like we got stuck in this kind of rut of recording a lot of Realm and a lot of, like, Nilly's Realm videos, which that isn't a bad thing, you know? I just kind of miss doing videos of other games as well. So we'll still do more, we'll still do more Nilly's Realm and regular Realm videos. This is weird. I don't know why it does this. See this? Where it like, it's all glitchy and stuff. I don't know. So we'll still do videos of these. Don't fret, you know, we'll, we'll still do those. But at the same time, I'm going to be rolling out more other videos as well. Other games rather. Um, and we'll, we'll do some, some more fun stuff as well, so. Uh, cause I know a lot of people have been wanting to see me play like Terra Tech and stuff again. Uh, which I thought was something that you guys weren't really interested in, so I stopped recording it. But it sounds like there's people still interested in that. And it's a great game, I, you know, I love playing it. So we'll probably record some more of that here soon as well. I kind of started doing a little bit more Turmoil. Uh, it sounds like... A lot of people really liked that game as well. I don't know if we'll finish it. We'll, we'll see, you know. I'll we'll grab this as well. We'll drink that, because why not? Can always use a little bit more speed. Not the drug. Although, I guess, could you call this a drug? It's like you're drugging your, your characters, but you're kind of not. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's a weird thing. Oh, I am the closest one. All right. We're going to come up. It's going to be a long haul, but we'll do this ghost ship. Because I love ghost ships, you should know that already. So, yeah, so I've been looking at maybe doing some more Terra Tech or uh, similar games. And kind of figuring out what I want to play. I'm still going to do Realm and stuff. Um, oh, no, okay. I was hoping to do this. I guess there's no reason to keep going here, right? Do we want to do an Oryx? Let's see if we can get there. Let's see if we can get there, because usually... It's like we don't quite get far enough. I get a little bit skittish. It's the whole not wanting to die thing. And we don't really make it. Looks like there's people already quite a bit further than we are. Probably more maxed out than we are for sure. These. Okay. So what are you guys up to? What did you do this weekend? Did you guys do anything fun? I love to hear kind of, you know, I, I like to hear what you guys do as well, you know? I feel like I talk about me a lot. I guess that's kind of the point to some regard of this channel, but I like hearing what you guys have to say as well. So, all right, they're gonna just run past you. There we go, perfect. We'll keep going. Slowed is never any fun. Okay. Uh, okay. Getting out of here. We'll follow these guys. We gotta be getting close-ish. That primo dodging there. I think we go this way. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're getting out. Uh. But I don't think we're dead. I looked like, yeah, I think if we stayed there too much longer, we, we probably would have died. So. Alright, let's head into the realm. So yeah, did you, are you guys doing anything fun for, for Labor Day? So for those of you in the, not in the States, I guess, uh, Labor Day is today, the day this video is going up, Monday. Uh, which basically means I don't have work. I've been thinking about doing a stream today, we'll see. You know, see kind of what's going on with, with the fam, with the family. So I feel like there was something else that I was going to tell you. Oh! So, funny thing happened, but not really funny, kind of more stupid thing happened. So, me and my wife got new phones. Uh, we got new phones around Father's Day, and Samsung did a deal uh, where if you get new phones, if you get two of them, you get a free 50-inch uh, Samsung Smart TV as a, as a promotion, so... And me and my wife were looking at getting, getting new phones, so it was like, all right, I guess... I guess now is, is the time to do it. So we both got some new Samsung Galaxy S7s. And since we got two of them, we, uh, we got a free Samsung 
smart TV, a 50 inch smart TV with it, which we actually don't have anywhere to put that in our house. We have like, we have nowhere to put it. It's just kind of hanging out for right now. It got delivered on Thursday. And was it there? No, it was Friday. It got delivered on Friday. My wife was home. This was like 10 weeks after we did this, by the way. They said it would have shipped within eight. It was like 10 weeks later. So I was about ready to call them up and be like, yo, where's all my free stuff that you promised me? But, but I didn't. So it came, it came in, it came through FedEx. And the FedEx truck stopped by our house. My wife saw it and was like, okay, I wonder if that's the, the TV. But no one ever came up to the door and no one ever rang the doorbell or said, hey, you know, you got something out here. So my wife's like, okay, maybe they were doing something for the, the people across the street or next to us or something. The freaking morons left it in front of our garage door, right? Didn't tell us it was here and just left a smart TV outside in front of our garage door. There are so many things wrong with that. One, if we lived in a worse neighborhood than where we live now, then someone could have saw it out there like, oh, look, free TV. Look, it doesn't look like there's anybody out here to stop us and just load it on up into the truck and go, you know? That could have happened. Or we have one of those old style garage doors where instead of it kind of rolling upwards, you know, you know, you know the ones that roll up, they have like, they're like made out of five panels or whatever, and they all are hinged and they kind of roll up a little bit. Ours doesn't do that. Instead, ours is a single piece that like fo goes forward and then up and then in. I, I guess that's the, the best way I can say it. It kind of goes forward, up, and then in. Um, so when my wife opened the door to pick up my son from school, it hit the box and knocked it over because they left it right in front of the garage door, right? It's like, seriously, guys, are you serious right now? And I know, I know most people have the garage doors that roll up or whatever, so I'm sure it's not an issue for those type, but it was just one of those things, you know? There we go. It was just one of those things. Ooh, we got two. Aren't I a lucky ducky? This, this game is telling me I need to be a rogue, is what's going on. Alright, cool. Should we do a rogue? I feel like- no, we have a rogue on our other- we have a rogue in regular- regular realm, so. I try not to mix them up, you know? And I also realize I haven't played that character in a while, we've been playing our knight. Uh, so that'll probably be our next episode, we'll do our rogue, so. I try and I try and mix it up a little bit. There are I do play favoritism. I'll be, I'll be honest, you know, there's there's classes that I like better than other ones, but at the same time I need to I need to learn how to use them all, you know. Maybe you don't like it now. Maybe you don't like it now, but you'll like it after you you play through it a little while. That happened to the priest with me. I at first I really hated the priest. I was like, "Man, I can't do anything with this class." You know. Uh, and then I played it and got really good at it, got it up to, I think, 4-8 or something, and really started to love it, and then I died, which was sad. But, you know, that, that happens. It's kind of part of the game or something, you know. So, but yeah. So, yeah, so, that that's not cool, FedEx. It's not cool, you know. It's not, not a great place to leave, or at least, if you're gonna leave it there, at least let us know, right? So then my wife, this is like an hour later, my wife goes out and she opens garage door, it hits the, it hits the box, right? And then she's late for picking up my son from school because now she has to lug this giant box into our house and this box is bigger than she is, or as big as she is, right? It was just, just not fun all around, you know? I don't know. I don't know, that's just, just me Complaining. How's it going, Flappy? Glad to see that you're on it this late night time of the day. Although I suppose it's probably not that late night time of the day wherever you are, you know? Because everyone... Everyone's at a different time zone. I, I, I've learned that. I'm in the weird time zone. Other people are in other time zones and stuff. Should we go in here? No? Alright. Let's do this. 
There we go. So, so yeah, so I'm actually, some people were asking if I like the Mystic, or if I, if I recommend it. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. It was a, it was one that a lot of people were like, ah, oh, no, don't play the Mystic, that's a horrible class, and a lot of people think it's bad, which it probably is. You know? But at the same time, it's kind of a cool class, it's different, you know? I think a lot of people don't like it, because people stasis stuff. Uh, yeah, let's, let's use the health one, actually. People stay the stuff and they have to wait around to kill it, you know? So, but I like it because if you get one of the higher end orbs here, look at this, you get Curse, you get Berserk, you get, uh, what's it called? Stasis? Yeah, Stasis. And if you get one of the nicer ones in this, you actually get Speedy as well. Um, which I think would be cool. So it's it's just you like your secondary is actually fairly useful, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to justify this. I'm not quite sure. What do you got, man? Uh here, one sec. We need to lock you in here. Here, you can have this. There you go. I have a thing. I probably wasn't gonna use it anyways. Why Mystic? Uh, because people were requesting that I play it and I hadn't played it yet, so I was like, alright, we'll give it a shot. That's literally what happened, so. Alright. Yeah, it's fun, though. I like- I like that your secondary allows you to do more damage, because it kind of ups your dex. That's very much what the Berserk does, right? Kind of ups your- your dex a little bit, right? Yeah, see, and then you can do the stuff like this. Look at that, we just wrecked that fool. Let's see, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one we want to kill next. There we go. And we'll kill you. You got nobody, you got no friends. How sad for you. And now you're dead. Let's see, Skull Shrine, do we want to do that? I don't know. Plus the, uh, when it turns red, when it's cursed, you do extra damage to it. You do like 20% more damage. Which is useful. So. I don't know, I'm enjoying it. It's different. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't think it's the best class. For sure, Z's, I don't think it's the best class. But, you know, if you're having fun with it, then who cares, you know? We'll stasis you, and we'll come back and shoot you in the face a bunch. There we go, I was hoping to get an attack potion. Didn't happen, didn't happen. Oh. Mostly, I, I just don't wanna get uh, quieted. Which it looks like we already did. Is this a... Uh, it is. There we go! Alright, let's 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 go let's go kill me some Lyman. Let's go have a nice Lyman... Lemon Lyman shake. There we go. I'll do that as well. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. A lot of stuff going on that I want to talk about. Um... I know a lot of people have been asking for more science talk. A lot of people have been asking for more... Uh, J stories and stories from my high school days and that kind of stuff. I, I need to remember more of those. I feel like my, my memory isn't what it used to be. I'm not that old. I'm 26. A lot of people are like, what, you're 26? You look like you were 20. Or a lot of people go the other way. It's like, you're 26? I thought you were like, almost 30 or something. Those are the people at my work. I've always wondered that. Like, why do they think that I'm older than I am? I think it's because I have like, two children that are, you know, just starting school and stuff. Like, stuff that people older than me would be doing around this time in their life. But... Grab that. Nah, we don't need any of that. I think the other part is that I actually reference older songs and older... Let's go here. Older songs and TV shows like Gilligan's Island and and Hogan's Heroes and all that kind of stuff. And so people are like, oh man, if he was born in the 90s, there's no way that he would know any of this stuff. But I do. I do. And so I think that's that's it too. You know, like, ah, oh, he can't be that that young. He's talking about he's talking about Green Acres, you know? That was a show from the 70s or something. So he can't be that young. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Although I will tell you, I do have this beard going right now. I keep it nice and short and kind of trim and nice looking. I uh, I could go longer if I wanted to, but 
I don't know, I feel like my boss wouldn't like that too much. But either way, if I shave it off, I look like I'm like freaking 12 or something. You know? Hmm. There we go. Let's do this. So, that's why I don't like shaving for like interviews and stuff. Because then I, I look a lot younger than I am. And people are like, ah, you, you shouldn't get this job. This is a job for adults, not, you know, people in high school or something. So. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Season 2 for Overwatch just started. Of course, it started right during the Battlefield 1 beta. So, I guess we can talk about that. What do I feel about the Battlefield 1 beta? I was having a lot of fun with it. I found that I'm not very good at other first-person shooters after playing Counter-Strike. Because the way that you aim and the way that you play Counter-Strike and just the amount of teamwork and everything necessary to be good at that game makes it so that I just don't function correctly with other first-person shooters or something. I don't actually know what it is. It's something like that. So, but maybe it's just I don't find them as, as fun to play anymore or something. You know? That could be it, too. I'm not actually quite sure. I, I don't know what it is. I, I love Counter-Strike. It's, it's kind of my guilty pleasure game, I guess. I don't know. I've been playing a lot during my stream. That's for sure. But it's, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. It's very skill-based. And I think... Um, I think that... I think that, um... Let's see. I think that's what I like about it. It's very skill-based. It's hard to play some of these, like, not as skill-based games after playing it because it just feels like... I don't know. Like, the game itself, there's not much to it. You just run around and shoot each other in Call of Duty and stuff. Versus, you know, Counter-Strike, you have to manage your, uh, manage your economy and figure out which rounds you can buy on or save on or what your, your team is gonna do for that specific round and that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I'm never going to be very good at it, though. You watch the, the pros and stuff, they're head and shoulders above the rest of us scrubs, you know, but I have fun with it. Usually you get decent teammates for the most part. Sometimes you get trolls. Sometimes you get hackers. That's not too, too often, though. So, yeah, it's good. It's fun. All right. You generally, the time you get hackers is like right after it goes on sale. So like Steam sales and stuff. You'll get hackers because it's like, oh, they can they can buy the game for cheaper, put it on a second account, add hacks to it, and and be good or whatever. There's a fanatic. Let's go do that. We're gonna we're gonna do this fanatic, and I think we're probably gonna gonna call it there. I think that's this might be a good s spot to call it. Well, you know, should be good. So, the good thing about being a mystic here is you can curse people like this, and then everyone does extra damage to it, I believe. I don't think it's just me. I'm pretty sure everyone does extra damage to it. You can kill everything, bosses and stuff like this, much more quickly. Which I, which I like, I enjoy that. Come on. All right, what do we got? Yeah, we got a thing. What did we get? Something good. Ooh, we got lots of good stuff. All right, I think that is the perfect place to leave us off here. Let's see how we're doing. Let's see how we're doing here. 12 attack, 8 defense, 6 speed, 15 dex, 14 vit, and 30 wisdom, and some amount of HP and MP. Um, so, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>